Hey guys, how are you all? I hope you are doing good. So in today's video, we will be seeing what are the various solutions that is provided by the blockchain. So in our previous video, we discussed regarding few of the uh, issues that were there in the blockchain, like uh, which was there in the current banking system. Uh, like we had some kind of ledger issues, we kind of uh, some centralized issues and all. So in today's video, uh, it will be the solutions to those issues which we discussed in our previous video. So that uh, video I'll give in the iCards up, just check it out. So uh, with no time wasting, let's start. What are the solutions which provided by the blockchain? So the very first one, that is a decentralized system. So for that, I have this uh, picture that is just you can see here. Uh, this is how a decentralized system looks like. So uh, in this, what basically is uh, initially uh, where we had the banks, that is the physical banks, in that it's controlled and governed by the central or the federal authorities. Now it's like uh, you usually go to the bank and do the transaction and it's like on a public holiday uh, if you want to do some kind of transactions or if you want to get some kind of data that's not possible so uh, that's all overcome by the blockchain so here it's a decentralized approach which is there so everyone which is involved in this kind of network or a system is equally responsible for this kind of activity it means that everyone who is part of the system becomes equally responsible for the growth as well as the downfall it means everyone has got the power to bring the system up or to bring the system down so that's all about the decentralized system is so blockchain uh, totally works or functions in a decentralized manner and not in a centralized way so next we talk about the public ledger so this public ledger can be understood uh, kind of a bank statement you can get a kind of a bank statement you go to a particular bank and you just ask for the concerned authority or the concerned person that you want this kind of uh, transactions when so transactions of the last month or the six months ago whatever transactions that I did so I want a complete list of those transactions so uh, that's basically you can just see here uh, in the blockchain it's uh, like this so here you have the Bitcoin users uh, different users and it's connected to uh, local wallets and there is one web wallet and paper wallet is there and so you have this Bitcoin network. So it's like you have all the addresses which are there on this nodes and it just calculates uh, this value and all the transactions which are there on that particular day or for that particular week or entire month. And then it creates a list basically. And that's basically a public ledger is. So it's uh, a ledger which is public, means anyone can access that ledger. And it's like it's auto updated and synced with each of the users consent with. And so details of all the transactions which are there on the blockchain and it's open as well as robustly available to all and uh, if you join that blockchain network uh, you can actually download a copy of that list and transactions since its initialization means at the time when it, it was started initially that particular kind of transaction network you can just download a copy of it and you can see all the transactions which are made transparent in that particular list. And then you have the complete ledger and it's publicly accessible to all and details of the people involved in the transactions remain just anonymous means uh, who all are the persons which are there involved in that transaction that you won't know but you will know all the information regarding the transactions that were done in that particular kind of uh, entire uh, session you can say so that's all about the public ledger is so it's all uh, the features of the solutions which is provided by the blockchain let's move on to the third one that is the verification so verification uh, something like uh, this so we had this problem that is a big problem of double spending like uh, you usually did some uh, kind of transactions and then uh, you had some face kind of post deck charges that does uh, like uh, your transaction got failed and you have to just uh, do it again so uh, this kind of double spending problem happens in the current banking system so a tight slack to this uh, double spending issue is given by the blockchain that is the verification by individual transactions so every single transaction which is done is verified by cross checking the ledger and the validation signal is there or validation points or marks are there of the transaction and it's sent after each and every minute means after each and every transaction is done it just put that validation signal or verification signal on that particular 
kind of network or particular kind of node so that it can just check and validate and uh, there is no problem of double spending which has happened over this network so it uses several complex uh, encryption as well as hashing algorithms for it so it's a kind of uh, very pretty uh, tedious activity to go with uh, next after the verification is done uh, the current banking system had the problem of uh, this thing that is the transaction fees but in blockchain you have absolutely zero transaction fees so uh, that's where the fourth point is uh, low or no transaction fees is there in blockchain uh, usually uh, there is no transaction fees which is there or which is observed in blockchain uh, but but certain variants of blockchain like you have the Litecoin, Dogecoin and all so uh, that uh, just carries a certain kind of lump sum amount of charges in that to carry forward but then too if you just consider it on a, a nutshell uh, the transaction fee which is imposed by blockchain is very very less as compared to the transaction fee imposed by the bank and so uh, the transaction uh, if you want to complete any particular transaction on priority then you have to or the user have to put that uh, additional transaction fee on that particular node and then this uh, can be added by the user and the transaction is verified on priority it means like uh, you want to get that uh, particular kind of activity done at the earlier time of the day and you have no other time to check it so it's like you can provide some additional uh, dollars or additional amount to that so that's kind of with certain uh, variants of uh, blockchain with this, uh, not the, uh, not with all the blockchains, but with certain uh, blockchain variants like the Litecoins, Dogecoins, and there are many other coins which are there in the market. Uh, so uh, it's a bit that. So uh, well, that's just all about the uh, solutions to the issues which we discussed in our previous video. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found you got educated by watching this video, please do like, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video.